In today's Ask Eric Wong MMA, I'm going to answer the age-old question, is punching power born or made? Yo, what's up my peeps? Eric Wong from EricWongMMA.com here and I'm back with another Ask Eric Wong MMA segment. It's Q&A Fridays and today's question I got is a great one. It's about punching power and the age-old question, is it born or made? Now, the first thing that we've got to do is clarify. What, what are we talking about here? Is it punching power just on a heavy bag or are we really talking about knockout power? Well, I think we're talking about knockout power. The real question is, is it possible to improve your ability to knock somebody else out in a competitive fight? And when you put it that way, when you phrase it that way, the answer I think is pretty clear. It's a resounding yes. You can definitely improve your ability to knock somebody else out in a fight. Now, there's a couple different factors that we've got to look into. And I don't want you just to take my word for it. In today's video, I'm just going to kind of lay out a few different scenarios for you and you can make up your own decision, make up your own mind yourself. Now, the first thing that I want to do is show you this little diagram that I've put together up here. And it shows you, we've got the question and then the real question. Are you able to improve your ability to knock somebody else out, knock out your opponent? Now, when you ask yourself this question, you can kind of break it down into two broad categories. There's the physical side of things, and then there's the mental side of things. Now, with respect to the physical size of, side of things, we've got three things here to think about. We've got the size. Now, if you've got two guys, say one guy weighs 140 pounds, another guy weighs 240 pounds, you know, who's got the better ability to knock somebody, else, knock the other guy out? Well, obviously the bigger guy. So size is a factor when it comes to knockout power. Next thing here, fitness. And that's the stuff that I talk about, you know, the different videos that I've got right here. And I got another one right here where I show, show you some different exercises that you can use to improve your ability to generate power in your punches. The more power you can generate in your punches, uh, the better your chances of knocking your opponent out. But that's not the only factor. There's a lot of different factors. We're going to talk about those. Another one is technique, obviously. Somebody with really sloppy technique who just throws punches like this using their arm is never going to knock anybody out no matter how big they are. Well, a 400 pound guy who's jacked and muscular might knock out a 100 pound woman. But in general, you've got to have some good technique. Let's take for example the overhand right, which I broke down at the link right there where I broke down Junior Dos Santos' overhand right knockout of Cain Velasquez. And you can see that technique plays a huge role. He throws all his weight into it, all his body into it, and kind of throws it like almost like a baseball. It's joint to joint to joint, it's the summation of forces, and that's what generates the massive power. So technique, you can improve your technique, therefore you can improve your punching power and your ability to knock somebody else out in that respect. Now, there's a couple other things here. Let's take a scenario. You can see the word down here, fear. Let's take a scenario. One guy's got amazing, he's big, he's got amazing fitness, lots of rotational power, he knows how to use the stretch shortening cycle. Those of you guys who've been following my videos, follow my blog at ericwongmma.com, know what the stretch shortening cycle is all about. Um, he's got perfect, flawless punching technique. He's been training with the best of the best. And this thing, fear. He's afraid to throw his hands. Is he ever gonna knock his opponent out? You tell me. I think the question answers itself. Okay, so we see some of the best knockout artists are guys, are often guys who are fearless, completely fearless. I mean, Chris Lieben it comes to mind right away. He's gonna come into a fight, you know what he's gonna do. He's gonna walk forward and throw punches at you like that. And if one of those lands, he's got heavy hands, it's gonna hurt. And he's got a, a good likelihood of knocking you out. But that brings us to the next point here, strategy. Now, somebody like Lieben against somebody like Anderson Silva, well, what's going to happen? Anderson Silva might not have 
the same punching power that Chris Lieben has, but his strategy, his ability to counterpunch, his technique in counterpunching, his ability to be patient, he's not afraid, he's just waiting, he knows what he's capable of and he knows what you're going to do, and he knows what he wants to do, and he does it. That's another factor. I'm not saying that maybe Anderson does punch as hard as Lieben. If you put him on a, on a force transducer or a heavy bag where you could measure punching power. But strategy, that one went out there. So can you improve your strategy and your ability to land your hands with the punches that you have that are powerful? So maybe you've got an overhand right that's powerful. Do you have the strategy, the fearlessness to throw that overhand right with all you got and to land that? That's the question for you. I don't have to answer that. Okay, so going back to this original question, punchy power, is it born or made? Well, I think it's pretty clear. It's, you can make punching power. Now, it goes back to the same kind of thing with respect to genetics. You know, am I limited to the amount of, to how high I can jump? Well, yeah, I think there's a, there's a genetic ceiling for everything. No human being will ever be able to jump 40 feet in the air using their own muscles, their own muscle power. None. Never. It's not going to happen. I'm not a pessimist, but I'm also realistic. Um, so we've got to understand what the genetic limits truly are and how far off we are from achieving them. Okay. Oftentimes when we ask questions like this, I, I kind of think of this as a silly question because most of the things in your life you can make. There's very few things in your life that you can't make that you're just born with. I have slanty eyes. I'm Chinese. I can change that actually, but I was born with it. That's the thing that I was born with. Now there are a couple other things here that, that I'm just kind of doing this video off the top of my head. I don't plan these out too much. You know, I'm not, sometimes I'll do some research, but for the most part, this is knowledge that I, I already possess. Um, what, with respect to the physical, there are physical factors that you cannot change that you're born with. For example, having really long arms. John Jones is an example. He's six foot four, but he's got ridiculously long arms. Uh, I think his six foot four is what, 72, 76 inches? Most people have an arm span the same as their height, 76 inches in Jones's case. But his, his reach is 85 inches. That's something he's born with, and that's going to help him with punching power. So part of that is born, yes, but most of it is made. He's fearless, he's got good strategy, he's got amazing technique, he tries new things, that's why he knocks people out. Other things like the width of your shoulders. The width of your shoulders can improve your punching power because this is your central axis here, okay? So rotating around the central axis, that's where the power comes from, the rotational power, the core, you know, all that stuff that I talk about in all my videos. So if my shoulders are really, really broad and wide, that's gonna have more, that's going to generate more rotational power at the end of my fist. By the time it comes around here, I'm able to generate more speed and more power with my fist. That's not something I can change. I can't make my skeleton wider. Okay, so that's just an example of one thing that you, you really can't change. But for the most part, most of the variables that go into what allows somebody to knock somebody else out are things that you can change. They're not just things that you can born, you're born with. And at the end of the day, the bottom line is, and this is really important, this is one of the most important concepts that you can take and apply to the rest of your life, is that focus on the things that you can change. Don't think about, don't spend time worrying about, thinking about all the things that you can't change. Oh, that guy's, that guy's bigger than me, or that guy's had better trainers than me. I'll never be able to train with those trainers. All these, all these things that you can't change, they just waste your mental energy. And you've only got so much mental energy. I, I liken it to, to a battery. You've got a battery and you've got a, a certain amount of mental energy. And if you're spending that energy on wasted thoughts, like things that you can't change, you know, genetics, other things like that, then that's energy you'll never get again. That's energy that you'll never be able to put into directing towards the things that you can change. Okay, so with that, I'm going to sign off. I'm also going to do a follow-up video on some of the strategy and technique things that go into punching power that um, are a little more advanced. So if you're a beginner fighter, 
this stuff might be too much to think about. But for you advanced guys, these are going to be concepts that might be new to you, that you might know intuitively, or you might have been taught and trained, but you've never been, it's never been explained and verbalized to you. And this video I'm going to post up next week, so to make sure that you get it, hit the subscribe button up there. It won't kill you. Come on. All you're going to do is get emails from me about my latest videos that are going to help you improve your fitness and health and life. So, hey, why not? It's worth a button click. Okay? Thanks for checking me out, guys. Take care. Again, my name is Eric Wong. My blog is at ericwongma.com. I'd love to have you come visit, interact, comment, just say hi, whatever. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.